Today I'm headed out on my favorite Central PA limestone stream to fish what is the first fishable hatch of the season, the Granum Cass. This hatch is most heavy in the morning, so I got up real early. I'm on my way there now, and what I'll be doing until some things start to happen is probably be using nymphs, so some peeping caddises, bird of prey caddises, and different caddis larvae imitations until things start to happen on top. What a beautiful morning. Everything's getting greened up. Let's see what we can do on the nymphs. All right, so I found this on the end of my fly, that casing there. So what I did was I got out one of my peeping caddises and let's see if we can imitate what I'm finding in the water. There's some caddises coming off sporadically here and there, still no risers. Caught the first one on a bird of prey caddis. And this one on the scud. All right, there he is. Let's see if we can hook into a few more. Well, there they are. A few starting to come off here. Nothing coming up and rising at them just yet, but I'm paying close attention and we'll see what happens. All right, on the dry. I have a, a tandem caddis rig on. One CDC, one deer hair, and we got a brown. Oh, was on the CDC. Nice little brown, and he goes. So one of the neat things about granum caddises is right before they are ready to emerge, they take on a more vibrant color going from that green that we normally see the caddis larva stage in to a chartreuse, a really bright green, before they emerge, shed their skin, and become that dark caddis that we're used to seeing on top of the water. This stopped rising here for a little bit, so I just threw on a nymph, and I just hooked into another brown trout. So there are some key differences between both a mayfly hatch and a caddis hatch. Namely, whenever a caddis begins to emerge and it hits the surface, unlike a mayfly, it can take off almost immediately not giving that fly a lot of the time on the surface, putting it at risk of being eaten by a trout. Now that being said, because of this short time period, trout will go after these flies very aggressively. And whenever you're seeing trout hitting the surface, you're gonna see big splashes, them jumping out of the water, and things like that. And this is what indicates that a trout is going after a caddis versus a mayfly. So the key things to take away from today's video are one, whenever you're fishing a caddis on the surface, make it jump around. Give it a more natural look by imitating an actual caddis jumping around on the surface. And two, if you're fishing underneath using a nymph, tie that nymph with a more vibrant color. 
This is indicating, as I had already said, that that caddis is getting ready to emerge. So that in mind, I hope that you learned something from today's video, and that whenever you're out fishing the granum caddis hatch, you're able to use these tips to be more effective and catch more fish. So as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the water.